Can you hear it? It's calling. You know it is. A clear mountain stream. A horse ride through the forest. Rafting down the river. Coffee with a view. This is your ticket to nature. Back to the simple life. It's time to head to Pennsylvania. Welcome to the Poconos. The Pocono Mountains, located in eastern Pennsylvania, with four seasons of endless fun for the whole family, encompasses forested peaks, lakes, waterfalls, lush golf courses, and valleys, lodging from luxurious resorts of cottages and condos, with plenty of recreation to quaint European bed and breakfasts. The first half of our video will show you the eastern Poconos, beginning with Main Street in the vintage town of Stroudsburg, a good place to gear up for the mountains. We'll show all the places of interest along Route 209 in East Stroudsburg, including a horse ride at Bushkill Stables, through the forest around the Pocono Mountain Villas. We walk the trails to Bushkill Falls, then travel along the Delaware River to Dingman's Falls. Cross over the Dingman's Ferry Bridge to New Jersey. We'll show the Delaware Water Gap and its picturesque village. Follow the Lehigh Valley Harley bike riders to a great place for breakfast. We then travel to the western part of the Poconos and go back in time as we walk the vintage European streets of Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Bike along the DNL Trail. Go through an old railroad tunnel and hop on board the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway. Give you info on whitewater rafting. We'll explore the massive indoor water parks at Camelback Mountain, Great Wolf Lodge, and Kalahari Indoor Water Park. Head to Mount Pocono, where the Mount Airy Casino Resort is at. Explore the Hickory Run State Park in Whitehaven. We will show several options for dining, give you travel tips. It's time to tee it up. Leave the rat race behind. Join us as we show you this gorgeous mountain region by bike, by drone, by train, by horse, by truck, and by foot to help you plan your Poconos getaway. Being I only had two days advance notice that I was heading to the Poconos and coming from Myrtle Beach, I had to stock up on supplies and get warmer clothing. So I figured Stroudsburg would be a good place to do that. It is one of the larger cities nestled in the Pocono Mountains, yet still has a small town atmosphere. Main Street full of shops, art galleries, restaurants, like Goomba's Pizza. Stroudsburg is a very picturesque downtown with architecture from terracotta panels to late 19th century buildings the Renegade Winery, in a building where a famous department store started. We arrived the last weekend in April, first weekend in May. First day was cold, mid-30s, brrr, but found a scarf at Fitzpatrick's, and more outdoor clothing at Dunkelberger's Sports Outfitters. And of course, gotta get Bella geared up as well. It did warm up after the first day, and was really pleasant for the next two days, as temperatures got up in the 60s. Found Earthlight Natural Foods to pick up some vitamins, minerals, and healthy foods to keep my immune system strong. We'll come back here for breakfast tomorrow morning. But for now, let's head to East Stroudsburg, up Route 209. The superfood town is your closest grocery store to the national park areas. Mommy, look, he has a dog in his backpack. Now that we have our supplies, it's time to eat. On Route 209, found Sue's Thai cuisine and noodle bar. What's perfect? Had these Thai dumplings were awesome. Some stir fry with jasmine rice. Was able to get some quick planning done, deciding on what to film for this video. This complete Poconos guidebook was very helpful. Can be found at PoconoMountains.com. I put a link in the description below. After a good night's sleep, it's a gorgeous sunrise over the Pocono Mountain Villas, located right off of US Highway 209 in East Stroudsburg. Let's talk about lodging. 
You have many nice resorts in the Poconos, with a multitude of on-site amenities, activities, and fun. We'll show you a few other resorts in this video, but what I like about this Exploria Resort is they are villas, where you can park right next to your room. A big plus in my book. There are picnic areas with barbecue grills in between the buildings. All units here have interior and exterior stairs, so not handicap accessible, and only service dogs allowed. Let me show you inside. I was in a two-room villa. They are three floors, with the kitchen and living room on the middle floor, with all the conveniences of home. And the guest or kids room is up above, with the master bedroom on the bottom floor. Pocono Mountain Villas does have military discounts, as well as rooms discounted for residents of New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. All right, it's time for breakfast. We go back to Stroudsburg, to the Compton Pancake House, referred by a couple of our subscribers. A great restaurant. You got to have pancakes when in the mountains. Very friendly staff, excellent food, nice dining room. Now heading towards Bushkill Falls on 209, the Snake and Animal Farm, where you'll find goats, pigs, monkeys, and rabbits. It is 950 for adults, 750 for kids, 2 through 11. Next to the Snake and Animal Farm is Adventure Sports with canoeing, kayaking, and rafting trips on the Delaware River from the Smithfield Beach Launch to the Delaware Water Gap. Next to Adventure Sports, enjoy a meal at Mad Apples with burgers, sandwiches, and a full dinner menu, including crazy catfish and shrimp and grits. Further up 209 is the Indian Museum. $7 for adults, $3.50 for children. The museum was kind of small, not a whole lot to it, but I thought it was one of the better gift shops in the area where I found my coffee mug and shirt. A distant little dream floating in my mind. Now it's time to get out into the woods of the Delaware Water Gap region. We begin with a horse ride as we pass by the Pocono Mountain Villas Resort. On the east end of the property is Bushkill Stables. Meet Bert, the horse I'm riding. His twin, Ernie, is hanging back at the stables while we go out on a ride. You don't have to be staying at this resort to enjoy this horse ride. Rides are $40 per person for a 45 minute ride. Open year round, every day except Tuesdays and Thursdays. Reservations are required. You can call or email to book your ride. I always prefer morning rides with the sun glistening through the trees. We'll check out the golf course and other activities here later, but for now, let's explore a couple of waterfalls. It's a scenic drive along Bushkill Creek on Highway 209, but for an even better view, try the McDade Trail for hikers, bikers, cross-country skiers, which extends most of the length of the Delaware Water Gap National Park. 31 miles from Hialeah to Milford Beach, with views of the Delaware River, Bushkill Creek, mountain streams, forests, and open farm fields. You can access the trail at Layman Township at the Bushkill Boat Launch. I put a link for more info below. It's in my soul, it's in my soul, it's in my soul. I can feel it. Known as the Niagara Falls of Pennsylvania, Bushkill Falls is a unique series of eight waterfalls and is pet friendly, accessible by a network of trails and bridges with viewing platforms. It is $15 for adults, $9 children 4 through 10 on weekdays. Weekends, it's $18 for adults. If you book online, you can proceed right to the trail entrance. It is open April through October, April and November, weather permitting. After Bushkill Falls, Route 209 begins to travel along the Delaware River. 14 miles northeast of Bushkill Falls is Dingman's Falls. The road to Dingman's Falls is very scenic as you travel around Dingman's Creek. There is no charge for these falls, but only service animals are allowed. It is an easy point three mile trail to Dingman's Falls from the visitor center and is wheelchair accessible. On the way you pass Silverthread Falls.
near Dingman's Falls is the Dingman Ferry Bridge. It's $1 cash to cross. We cross over the Delaware into New Jersey. There's a little spot on the New Jersey side where you can pull over and go down a little trail for a scenic view of the bridge and the Delaware River. Back at the Pocono Mountain Villas, how about some tubing? In the summer, it's called blue lightning, and in the winter, it is called white lightning with snow tubing with two 400 feet tubing lanes. Ran into Roman and Alex and joined some tubing. Uh, we like it. Well, we just came for we just came for that, but uh, I think we're going to be back for horseback riding and stuff. On weekdays, it is twenty five dollars per person per hour. On weekends, thirty dollars. While the kids are tubing, you can enjoy a round of golf. The Pocono Hills Golf Course, an 18-hole course known for its challenging greens, rolling fairways, and gorgeous mountain scenery. For more fun during summer months, you can try Pocono Tree Ventures, where you can climb, balance, and zip line through a treetop obstacle course with five courses of varying levels of difficulty. There's Pocono Zip Racer, with 1,000 foot dueling racing zip lines, a kid venture for four to seven year olds, and zip quests with nine zip lines connected by bridges and ladders. After a day of adventure, you can enjoy a meal at the Warehouse Tavern and Grill with a nice outdoor patio with a view or a rustic relaxing space indoors. They serve burgers, baskets, pizza, a seafood platter, real good food. It's morning day two. Time to show you the western part of the Poconos. Grabbing a bagel for the road. It's an hour's drive to Jim Thorpe, but a must visit town of this region. We take scenic I-80. Sitting on the Lehigh River is the vintage town of Jim Thorpe, originally named Mock Chunk, which means Bear Mountain. Was named after an Olympic athlete, Jim Thorpe, in 1952. There is currently a movement to rename it back to Mock Chunk. This was a major coal mining town in the 1800s. The Mock Chunk Railway Station, built in 1888, is where the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway departs. We will board that train in a bit. But first, let me show you around downtown. The Carbon County Courthouse is the center of downtown, first opened in 1894. Was designed after the Big Ben Clock Tower in London. Broadway Street in 2013 was designated as a top 10 great street by the American Planning Association. You'll find Victorian style bed and breakfasts here, like the Inn at Jim Thorpe, the Times House bed and breakfast, the Dolan House, the Mock Chunk Opera House built in 1881 still holds concerts today known for really great acoustics the Anita Shaposky Art Foundation in a church from the 1850s. It's time for coffee. I found a gluten-free blueberry muffin and vanilla latte at Muggles Mug Coffee Shop. What a great atmosphere. I wonder who built this town. Well, I'm glad you asked, Randy. Asa Packer was a railroad pioneer who helped build Mock Chunk's infrastructure in the mid-1800s, as well as his mansion that he built in 1861, which you can take a guided tour of seven days a week from Memorial Day to the end of October. Next door, the Harry Packer Mansion is an inn that you can lodge at. It was the inspiration for Disney's Haunted Mansion. Harry was a son of Asa. Asa also built what is known as Stone's Row, 16 houses for his engineer and foreman of the Lehigh Valley Railroad. At the end of Stone's Row, impressive Gothic revival architecture of St. John's and St. Mark's Episcopal Church, built in 1869. There's many good eateries here, but for something really whimsical and eclectic with a piano player inside, try the Through the Looking Glass Cafe, the Wild Elder Wine and Cider Company, or the Mad Hatter Winery and Smokehouse. The Visitor Center is located inside the railway station and a little museum on the history of Jim Thorpe. It's time to board the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway. They give you a free ticket for your dog. The standard coach is $19 for adults, $9 for children. The open air car is $23 for adults, $10 for children. On the day I rode, they also had a dome car option, but you usually don't see that option on this train. 
I think they use the dome cars for their all-day trains that run out of Reading, Pennsylvania. This train is handicap accessible. I would recommend the open air car, even above the dome car if they have that option. Just a much better view. This train is part of the Reading Blue Mountain and Northern Railroad, which has all day excursions from Reading, Pennsylvania to Jim Thorpe, and also has a steam locomotive on selective days. This is a 70 minute narrated trip along the Lehigh River, over bridges into Lehigh Gorge State Park. The Lehigh Valley Railroad began operating in 1854, transporting coal and passengers from Mock Chunk to Easton, Pennsylvania. For an even better view, try the bike train, where you can either bring your own bike for $35 per person or a rental Trek bike for $55. The bike train goes much further. It's a 25 mile ride through the Lehigh Gorge to Whitehaven, Pennsylvania. Then you pedal back down the Delaware and Lehigh Heritage Trail. It runs only a couple days of the month, from April to September and November. I put a link below. Or if you don't want that long of an adventure, you can still bike the DNL Trail from Jim Thorpe. This is a multi-use trail that is very well maintained, from crushed gravel to wooden bridges. One of the most scenic trails in all of Pennsylvania would be a great scenic journey with some cardio for you and your significant other. One of the places to see is an abandoned tunnel just off the trail, but also accessible by car through the Jim Thorpe entrance to the Lehigh Gorge State Park. It's the last parking area on the right, just before the bridge over the Lehigh River. It is the Jim Thorpe Old Railroad Tunnel, called the Turnhole Tunnel, with a nice overlook over the river. Jim Thorpe River Adventures also has bike rentals for the DNL Trail, as well as whitewater rafting trips, with varying levels of difficulty and distance on the Lehigh River. See JTRAF.com for more info. There's also a 3.2 mile loop hiking trail to Glen Onoco Falls. This trail often has closures, so check alltrails.com for status first. We head three miles west of Jim Thorpe to the town of Neskahoning. Nestled along this gorgeous Neskahoning Creek is Whitewater Rafting Adventures, where you can do class two and class three rafting trips on the Lehigh River. In addition to rafting, there's biking trips with shuttles to drop you off and pick you up. Zip lines over 900 feet through a forest, and you can test your shooting skills with Pocono Mountain Paintball. Six miles farther west in the town of Lansford, you can ride a rail 600 feet into the mountain in coal mine number nine, then take a guided walking tour. It is $12 for adults, $9 for children, four through 12. The mine is open May through October, Wednesday through Sunday, and April and November, Friday through Sunday. Seven miles northeast of downtown Jim Thorpe is Pocono Whitewater, with combo rafting and paintball trips called Battles and Paddles. Also rail trail biking excursions with shuttles to drop you off and pick you up. We now travel to the western foothills of the Poconos to Hickory Run State Park in Whitehaven. It is just another five miles to downtown Whitehaven where the bike train drops you off at the Lehigh Gorge Trailhead. This park is open every day of the year, sunrise to sunset, unless camping here. There are three camping cottages, two deluxe cottages, and 15 RV sites with full hookups, as well as several campsites. I put a link below for the camping info. There are more than 40 miles of hiking trails here, several miles of trout streams. A popular place of interest here is Hawk Falls, the trail to Hawk Falls is only 0.7 miles long, relatively easy, an out and back trail, passes through a forest of beautiful towering trees. Now heading back east, 30 miles from Hickory Run State Park is Tannersville, where Camelback Mountain is located at. It is here you'll find Barley Creek Brewing Company, a microbrewery known for its pub fare, and a seasonal outdoor bar area with bocce ball and wiffle ball and horseshoes. Across the street is Pocono Creek, 
which flows downstream from the Camelback Resort. Let me get down into the creek and give you a good view. Aquatopia is the indoor water park at Camelback Resort. It is $69 for a day ticket. They also have a rock wall, laser tag, bumper cars, and an escape room, as well as a large arcade. Also brand new in June of 2022, Camel Beach Mountain, an outdoor water park. A season pass is $89 that allows you to use it Monday through Friday, or $109 you can use it seven days a week. Camelback Mountain has some of the tallest peaks in the Pocono Mountains, which makes this a very popular ski resort in the wintertime. Fifteen minutes to the northeast in Scottrun, Pennsylvania, just off of I-80 is Great Wolf Lodge, another big indoor water park. You can book a full day pass for $50 or after 4 p.m. $40. Another big arcade. This might be the best water park for toddlers and small kids. Very Disney-esque. Another 15 minutes north up I-80 in the town of Pocono Manor is the biggest indoor water park in the region. The Kalahari Water Park. It is anywhere from $69 to $99 depending on the day or after 4 p.m. $56 to $62. There's military discounts. For the adults, a cool bar pool that is in a cave. You can rent these large cabanas with sofa and a TV. Also a large arcade here. This is a massive resort, and if your getaway is only for a couple of days, you have kids, and you just want to hang out at the resort. I could see the advantages of staying here in these large resorts with water parks and large arcades. But be aware of some of the hassles of dealing with the crowds, checking into your room, and parking not as convenient as the resorts with cottages or villages like the Pocono Mountain Villas. The good thing is you can stay at the resort of your choosing and enjoy the amenities of these other resorts recreation areas. Five miles to the east of Kalahari, in the town of Mount Pocono, is where the Mount Airy Casino is located at. The thing that struck me about this casino, compared to with other casinos, is this one has some pretty good restaurants inside. Not your typical run-of-the-mill casino eateries. I ordered from Guy Fieri's. Guy Fieri is the celebrity chef who hosts the popular TV show, Diners and Drive-Ins on the Food Network, ordered Cajun Alfredo with shrimp, and took it across the street to the Woodland Trailhead to eat. Hey. We are in the Poconos. Why would you ever eat indoors when the weather is good here? Got to enjoy that scenery. This is Woodland Trail. It's an easy 1.1 mile trail across the casino. A nice place to enjoy the nature after losing your money in the casino. It will cheer you up. Also across from the casino is the Mount Airy Golf Club. While most come to the Poconos to slow down, in the middle of July, some come to the Poconos to speed up. Long Pond, Pennsylvania hosts a major NASCAR Cup Series race at the Pocono Raceway, known as the Tricky Triangle, a two and a half mile lap. I got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start. I got the feeling when the windows roll down in the car. I got the feeling if I wanna fly, I know that I could. As we head back to the western part of the Poconos, to the Delaware Water Gap, just a couple of places I want to show you before we close out this video. The Shawnee Golf Course and Resort, a gorgeous course in the middle of the Water Gap. A good place to access the Delaware Water Gap by boat or to get info is at the Kittatinny Point Visitor Center, located just off of I-80. On the opposite side of the river is also the Point of Gap Overlook, two miles south of Edge of the Woods Outfitters on Route 611. You can pick up Route 611 at the Delaware Water Gap Village, known as a great stop for those traveling the Appalachian Trail. It is very scenic, a small town in a valley. The Edge of the Woods Outfitters is here, where hikers can gear up for their adventure. Also bike rentals, and very reasonable canoe and kayaking self-guided trips from Smithfield Beach to Kittatinny Point on the river.
Ran into the Lehigh Valley Harley Riders, who clued me in into a must-stop bakery and breakfast eatery. The Village Farmer and Bakery, where you can get homemade baked items, jams and jellies, great coffee, and more. I ordered the VF breakfast sandwich. They have a nice patio out front for dining, but there is also this area near their parking lot overlooking Cherry Creek. Another popular attraction seven miles southwest of the Delaware Water Gap Village is Quiet Valley Living Historical Farm, where you can see a variety of farm animals. They were closed when I came, but I'm still glad I went because the drive to the farm is amazing. They are open from the first Saturday in June to the third Saturday in September. It is $18 for adults, $10 for children, 3 through 12. Your children will love it. We end our video across the street from the Pocono Mountain Villas at Patrizzo's a dog-friendly Italian restaurant in Tiki Bar. The staff is very nice, a perfect way to end our trip as the sun sets in the Poconos, enjoying a great meal. Of course, the summer is an excellent time in the Poconos, so much to do. However, late April, early May, not as crowded and you can get great deals. The fall, the color of the trees is out of this world, one of the most scenic times of the year. And very beautiful in winter with the snow and the ski resorts. Either way, it's a great getaway from the city. From the busyness of life, the Poconos will have you feeling good. When you're up by my side, I can't enjoy the ride. I gotta feel it, it's all feeling good. I gotta feel it, it's all feeling good. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel promos across the USA. For stock footage of this video, or if you would like to hire us to film your city or region, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. From the Poconos, I'd encourage you to enjoy the simple things in life, appreciate others and nature, and blessings to you wherever you may be.